Sure. Thanks a lot. Uh, Matthew Lee, University Press, thanks as always for, for, for doing these briefings. I wanted to ask um, two things. One about, I mean, this OECD report that came out with, with, the, with, the, with the, the, their estimate of where the progress toward the $100 billion, it seems like some, some major uh, uh, NGOs in the field have criticized not just the number that they came up with, but the fact of whether, all, wh whether it can be taken at face value, basically saying that some of this aid is, is, is uh, in the form of concessionary loans or market-related credits that may actually benefit developed countries more than, and, and, than, than developing and not actually help people adapt to climate change. Do you, what, do you, what would you say? Are you focusing too much on like the number and sort of saying we're getting closer to it? What about the substance of the, of, of the assistance? And also Christine Lagarde of the IMF, down, while she was down there, uh, maybe it's not news as such, but came out strongly for you know, taxing carbon and against all type of subsidies for energy use. And I wanted to know for you know, dirty energy use. What, what's the UN's, is there, does the UN agree with that? What's your thinking on that? Yeah. Okay, so uh, first on the, the OECD report, uh, uh, this was finished literally a few days before the meeting, and uh, there are, uh, what's, what's new and what's remarkable about the OECD report that it actually has a methodology, and they provide transparency about that methodology. And inevitably, there will be both technical and political concerns about those uh, about that methodology. Either way, uh, either it being too uh, too uh, um, conservative, and perhaps the other way too. So let's see how that goes. In the discussion that that we had with the finance ministers, there were a number of countries who have raised questions of methodology. Some of which were immediately answered by the Secretary General of OECD, and others, presumably, there will be some further discussion. So. But it is important, and the Secretary General has said this uh, over time, is that, w uh, that we have to have a politically credible methodology for the, uh, for the mobilization trajectory. So ultimately, the political credibility will come by all countries engaged. And he said this to the finance ministers uh, uh, during their meeting. As far as uh, uh, Madame Lagarde's uh, suggestion about uh, carbon tax and, and subsidy removal, uh, these are certainly uh, perhaps the most important uh, ways in which uh, uh, countries can address uh, uh, the, the, this issue. So this is something that uh, the Secretary General has also uh, spoke about many times.